Hello, I'm Dean Martin with Transmission Digest. Welcome to the Transstar Industry Studios here at Babcock's Media. Automatic transmissions have always required uh, the ability to cool the fluid uh, because of the nature of the operation. And traditionally, this would involve uh, a couple of cooler lines sending fluid up to the radiator. It would be uh, cooled somewhat by the water in the radiator and returned to the transmission. This is actually, as you can see, uh, a cut down radiator with the normal tank. And this is where your, your cooler in and cooler out lines would go. And as they take this apart, you can see how the uh, fins are where the water would go. There's this nice little seal. And this is the actual tank that the fluid enters and exits. And this is surrounded by water. These fittings are what the lines, cooler lines hook to. And it's a fairly simple process when the transmission fluid would exit the transmission it would go to one side, go through here, the water surrounds it, and then returns to the transmission cooler than what it went in. The transmission cooling system in some, time, in some cases have been neglected because when a transmission fails, the debris goes along with that fluid into these tanks and can create a problem and you don't properly clean this. Beyond that, making sure that the flow is good. Uh, this particular transmission failed and the torque converter friction material actually clogged this fitting and fortunately the tech that was doing this noticed the restricted flow and found out what the problem was and they had to replace this, ent this entire thing because of all the debris that was in it. When you flush a line, you make sure you flush it one way, flush it the other way, to get as much out as you can uh, and also verify that you have flow. Uh, as time went on though, they started to implement different uh, uh, components into the cooler system. For instance, you can have a line like this that has a, a bypass valve in it. Sometimes they use these for anti-drain back. Uh, sometimes they use this so that if this cooler becomes restricted, it will at least open the valve and allow oil to run from one side of the transmission to the other side for lubrication. You want to make sure that these valves are not stuck open or closed and that it flows through if necessary. Other type of transmissions have had uh, external coolers such as this. This would bolt to the side of the transmission fluid goes in and out, water merely passes through here, and still, so instead of having a big radiator tank to deal with, this is what's actually cooling. As you can see, it's much more compact. Uh, it would be much tougher to clean, and if you have a transmission that has really failed, you're probably better off replacing this and not trying to clean it. Uh, this is actually a transmission cooler. Uh, there are many applications where the OEMs use what they consider transmission warmer. Uh, for instance, on Hondas, the same thing if it's restricted that you uh, either replace it, they make adapters to where you can uh, actually get rid of it. This would just go in and out and then you can put an auxiliary cooler on similar to a radiator. They also had uh, thermal valves and radiators themselves. You could have a standalone radiator that has a thermal valve in it, and if you flush the system, you may think you're flushing the radiator when in fact it's just bypassing a radiator. You want to make sure that you take that thermal valve out, make sure it's free, and then flush the radiator accordingly. Some of the newer radiators are actually combo. So it, uh, it has part of the element uh, for the air conditioning unit, the other part for the transmission, and the same thing. 
that you have to have good flow, making sure if it has a thermal element that that thermal element is functioning. It's not creating a uh, restriction to make sure that you're getting good flow, as well as when you flush the lines, that the radiator itself is being flushed and not just flushing two cooler lines. I'm Mike Riley. Thanks for watching. See you next time.